Hello friends, welcome back to my session. In this section, we are going to see how to work with Ansible Dynamic Inventory. If you are using AWS Cloud and there might be a chance that your instances may come and go off whenever we have enabled auto scaling. In that case, using static inventory may not work. Then we should go with the dynamic inventory. How can we do that? I have procedure over here. Initially, to set up this one, we have an Ansible server. If you don't know how to set up Ansible server, please go through with these documents. One is help you to create an RHL8. Another one is helps you to create an Amazon Linux. Next setup. To set up Ansible Dynamic Inventory, we can follow Ansible official documentation where they have given instructions how can we set up. Same thing I have simplified and updated over here. That is, first we should download ec2.py and also ec2.ini file. ec2.py is a Python script which can communicate with our AWS and pull the resources information. And ec2.ini, it helps us to retrieve the different resources information. Nothing but ec2, rds, elastic cache, route 53 and so on. All these resources information, if we really need it, we should enable over here. Next, we should create an IAM user or else IAM role also fine if Ansible server running on AWS. If we create IAM user, we should export access key ID and secret access key. To export access key ID and secret access key permanently, our Ansible system must be installed with pip and boto and create a dot boto file in the Ansible home directory and copy these credentials on that file. Next, we should execute our ec2.py file. For that, enable execution permission on this file. Then, run this file for test. So, it retrieves all the hosts which are available in our system. But, it gives lot of groups. If we need only EC2 instance details, then we should go with the list hosts. Let's try this one. As I said, first we should log into our Ansible system. This is my Ansible system. I am under root directory. Let's go back to our documentation and follow the steps. First step is we should copy ec2.py and ec2.ini files which we have already opened. Let me copy Control C VA ec2.py Insert mode and save this file. Next, similar way, ec2.ini, insert mode, so this is also done. Next step, create an IAM user for programmatic access. I am on my IAM console. Here we can create IAM user or roles. If your Ansible system is not in AWS console, then we should go with users. If it is running on AWS itself, we can use IAM roles. Create a role, EC2, permission. We should give EC2 full access because we are going to retrieve EC2 instances. Tag name is it a full access role we are creating name also is it to full full access create i have created a role this role we are going to attach to our ansible server go to ec 2 And select Ansible Server, Actions, Instance Settings, Attach or Replace IAM Role. Let's select EC2 Full Access, Apply. Close it. We have created an IAM Role and it is attached to EC2 Instance. Let's follow next step. Exporting is not needed because we haven't created user. If we create an IAM user, yes, it is necessary. Then change the permissions for our ec2.py. We have changed it and uh, let's test it out. 
Okay, it's throwing an error while retrieving Elastic Cache. Anyway, we don't need it. Let's comment it out in our EC2.ini because we don't need it. Here, here search for Elastic Cache. Uncommented it. Save this file. Let me rerun it. Okay, it's connected and retrieved the, all the necessary information. You can see here on this VPC how many instances are there. So for four instances are running. What are the types of our EC2 instances? T2 micro and the tags. Kubernetes management server IP address is this. Tomcat server IP is this. Jenkins and also Ansible. This is our Ansible server and the, what security group it is using. All this information it retrieved dynamically. And if we want to get only specific to EC2 instance hosts, then we should run this command. It lists out only running EC2 instances in our AP South 1A availability zone. Let's see that. Yes, here you go. We have four servers running in this availability zone. And uh, if I go and see in Ansible system, out of five, one is in stopped state, remaining all are running. So it shows all the running EC2 instances wherever it has public IP. That's how we can retrieve our dynamic Ansible inventory from AWS. If we need private IP addresses also, then we need to modify our EC2.ini file according to that. That's all. Hope this video helps you to understand about dynamic inventory on AWS. And if you like our content and way of explanation, you can support us through PayPal or Paytm. And also please don't miss to subscribe our YouTube channel to get latest updates. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next lecture.